Well, hello and welcome. Today I am in a neighborhood called Blossom Valley of San Jose at a special gem. It's a great county park called Marshall Cottle County Park, where you can learn a little bit about the history of San Jose, as well as enjoy the fun walking paths and other great things to do. So let's go on a tour today and let me show you around. I'm Teresa Wellman with homeownerexperience.com, a local San Jose realtor. Thanks to the vision of the family who owned this land, today we have a large piece of history located in the center of Santa Clara Valley that is available for the public to enjoy. Marshall Cottle Park now celebrates our shared agricultural heritage and how the tradition of farming and sharing food continues to shape our landscape, people, and history. This park was originally established by Edward Cottle in 1864. For over 150 years, this ranch property has been an agricultural production under one family and continues today to be used for organic farming. More about this later. Edward Cottle immigrated from Missouri to Santa Clara County by covered wagon in 1854 and settled in the area. He began raising milk cows and cattle and planting grain and row crops. The family continued to live on the property and Marshall Cottle, whom the park was named for, was one of the sons of Edward. The last heir, Walter Cottle Lester, passed away in 2014. Marshall Cottle and his family changed products as the local economy of the Santa Clara Valley changed. From cattle and dairy to wheat fields and row crops, this land fed the valley as it grew. Although fruit orchards were common in the area, only a few fruit trees grew on the Marshall Cottle property. The Cottles and Lesters did manage large fruit orchards on other family property in the valley as they adapted to the growth of the area during the years this valley was known as the Valley of Heart's Delight. The family had a vision to maintain the agricultural history of the area and withstood the pressures of urban development and turned down fortunes offered by developers. In 2003, Walter Cottle Lester, in accordance with his mother, Ethel Cottle Lester's wishes, transferred his remaining 287 acres to the state and county for development of a public park to educate the public about the agricultural heritage of Santa Clara Valley. This county park opened in 2014. Today, the park has many active partners. Jacobs Farm grows their organic produce here. Jacobs Farm is a leader in organic farming and is partnering with county parks for long-term organic agricultural production, community education at the park. Prioritizing water-wise irrigation and sustainable farming practices, Jacobs Farm grows dry-farmed heirloom and early girl tomatoes and sells their bounty with the Del Cabo label in local grocery stores as well as through the home delivery service called Imperfect Produce. Other produce from Jacob's Farm have included melons, cherries, stone fruit, summer and winter squash, corn, pumpkins, culinary herbs, blackberries, and fresh cut flowers. University of California Cooperative Extension Program also uses some of this county land along with Santa Clara County Master Gardeners, Our City Forest, Master Composters, 4-H Youth Club, and more. There are also plans to open a community garden soon. These organizations offer opportunities for the public to tour, take a class, enjoy a seasonal festival, or attend workshops. Plus, there are volunteer opportunities. See the link in the video description to the park newsletter with details on events and more. Today, you can enjoy the Marshall Cottle County Park in many ways. The park is open year-round. Shop at the farm stand with produce from Jacob's Farm. Walk the miles of flat paths around the growing fields and study the local history in the museum and visitor center. For hours and more information on the local agricultural history of San Jose, come for a visit or check out the links below. Thank you for watching. If you're new here and want information about San Jose neighborhoods or local real estate, please subscribe to this channel. I post new videos every Tuesday. Again, I'm Teresa Wellman with homeownerexperience.com and don't forget to check out those links below to resources mentioned in the video.